with Sage Karam and the Ivy Tech Community College Bay Area, I guess, here where the cars are all worked on the automotive section. Kid, they were one of your co-sponsors last year when you did such a good job at Indy and they're back this year. Just talk about the thrust of the program and the fact that they're trying to get kids 20 years old and your age to be interested in IndyCar racing. Yeah, well, like you said, you know, these kids are my age, which is really, really cool. And, uh, you know, they, they all want to further their education in cars and, and uh, you know, maybe in a racing and stuff like that. And, um, you know, basically I'm just here visiting them today and uh, seeing what they're all up to and, um, you know, just telling them how important it is for mechanics on my team and, and, and engineers and, and stuff and, you know, just as important as the driver. So, um, you know, these, these guys, they, they know their stuff. I think we're going to be playing a game here of name the car part and I think they're going to whoop my butt a little bit. <laughs> Do you know though I think there's three or four guys in the IndyCar series right now that started at Ivy Tech and became you know, IndyCar mechanics. Yeah, no, I know for, for sure that uh, a lot of the teams, when they do go look for mechanics and stuff, you know, having that degree in the automotive industry can really, really help out. So, um, again, just pointing that out to these kids that they got to emphasize on just keeping with it and uh, doing their best at college here and uh, learning as much as they can and taking it and applying it to, the to uh, you know, maybe IndyCar or wherever else they want to go. Any kind of a day plan, do you think the kids will come out to the track and watch your practice? I, I hope so. You know, a lot of them seem a lot really interested. You know, I've met a few that have said they've never been to a race in their life, and uh, you know, it's uh, it's really cool to uh, you know talk to people that haven't been and try to get them involved and in seeing that they want to get involved because that's the that's the nature we need to start going is to get the people that have never been and that don't know what racing is to get involved. And once once I know they come to a race and they they see all 33 cars come down the starting, uh, you know, come down the uh, front straight the first time where they hear the cars or smell the gas. Gasoline, you know, they're gonna want to come back. Do they? Do they ever come up to you and say, "Man, you're awful young to be driving an Indy car"? Are they kind of amazed that you're you've made it so quick? Yeah, a lot of people are always like, you know, man, you must be really good if you're that young. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, I, I you know, I did my thing and, uh, you know, had a lot of sponsors help me out and, you know, I had to do everything right. So, um, you know, they, they uh, no, they, they definitely do respect me and I respect what they do. And, um, you know, it's a really cool facility here at Ivy Tech. It's, uh, you know, they're uh, constantly upgrading stuff. I came here last year and, uh, you know, it's, it's looking really, really nice. And uh, these kids got a lot of resources to learn from. Okay, now we know there's a lot of drivers on the Ganassi team, Dario Franchitti, an ex-Ganassi driver that couldn't change his own oil. Hopefully, <laughs> you can rotate tires and change oil, right? Oh, yeah, I, I can uh, do, my, do my best at those things. I tried changing a tire. It didn't go so well, but we get it done. All right, this is Robin Miller for Razor.com with Sage Karam at Ivy Tech. Watch him in the month of May.